morning, good morning guys. We're back at it again with another video. My name is Derek for DIY Home Set Projects, giving you the power to do some cool ass shit. The project that I'm gonna be working on today is uh, something that I've been looking forward to and something that I've been researching for a while, and that's using buried clay pots as an irrigation method in garden beds. So where I originally got this idea is from this book right here. So it is called Gardening with Less Water, and it is by David Bainbridge, who I believe he lives in California. So when I saw the title of this book, you know, Gardening with Less Water, um, that definitely piqued my interest because we live in an arid climate where we only get 12 or 13 inches of rain per year, and we wanna grow a lot of food. So using less water to grow more food is definitely something that um, I want to research and do on our property so that we're just not wasting it. So the premise of using the clay pot here is that you bury it in the ground to about this level right here. And then you fill it up with water. You can set up an automatic water filling system, which we're gonna be doing, um, or you can just fill them up by hand. So as you bury this in the ground, you also plug the bottom here. I'm just using a rubber stopper to do that. As this is buried in the ground and you fill it up with water, is that the water will leach out of the, uh, of the terracotta potter plant, planter. Um, you have to use unglazed ones. So these are just like the standard ones that you find at Home Depot or Lowe's or just at your local hardware store or whatever. Um, but you don't want the glazed ones, the ones that have like that nice kind of like uh, shiny cover on it. You just want these basic ones that don't have any glaze on it. So that allows the water to basically seep through the plant and it's going to water the plant, so wherever you put your seeds around it or you, um, or you put your starter plants, the water in the pot is going to just slowly seep out and wet the area around it. So what's really good with that is that it'll only wet it so much. And as you plant different things like squash plants or tomatoes or you know, whatever it is, the, the roots are gonna tap into the water that is released from the, uh, from the potter plant. And what's really nice about this is that it's only going to let out so much water. And so as that plant grows and is utilizing that water, then the plant, the pot, is going to release more water. And it does this all automatically. It's a technique that they've used for, um, for low water irrigation for I believe thousands of years using these, uh, these clay pots. So how it explains using the clay pots in this book here is buried clay pot or Oya irrigation is one of the most efficient systems known, thought to have originated in China thousands of years ago. Filled with water, a buried, unglazed, porous clay pot provides controlled irrigation by capillary flow to plants planted near it. So some of the benefits it lists here is the consistent water supply of buried clay pots improves germination, increases crop growth, speeds maturity, reduces diseases, and increases yields. Even in places with very high temperatures, which we, we, we definitely get, low humidity, which we have, and desiccating winds, which we do get from uh, time to time. So the author of this book, David, has done a lot of trial runs in, in um, areas where it's even much drier than where we're at, where they only get like three inches of rain per year. So he's been using these techniques in order to basically grow plants in very, very dry climates. So the basic idea here is that by using these pots is that you can use as little as one-tenth of the water that you'd normally be using with typical surface irrigation. So we have drip irrigation right now, which is more efficient than surface irrigation, but using the clay pots is even more efficient than using uh, a drip irrigation system. So that's one reason why I'm really interested in, in trying these out and seeing how they work. So what I'm gonna be doing today is ripping out everything in the garden right now. Um, it just, the garden hasn't been really doing too well, and obviously it's a brand new garden, but um, it's not something that we've put a lot of time and effort into uh, right this second. Um, it's gonna be something that is gonna definitely get better over time, and over the next three, four, or five years, we really want to improve our food yield. So I really want to experiment and see how systems like this work. So it's gonna be a, a very low-tech and simple system, um, which I really like. When I can do some type of gardening or water harvesting project that doesn't require any electricity or anything like that and everything can be gravity fed. I love that kind of stuff because if the solar system ever goes down, um, we're still going to be having water going to the plants so they're not gonna be affected by the, uh, by the lack of electricity. So we do have the drip irrigation system there and I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna kind of pull it up, move it away um, and then I will eventually put it back in. 
but um, it'll just kind of be more of like a backup or something like that. So we've got that three quarter inch line finished. It's trenched underground coming into the garden bed here. And then we have two half inch risers sticking up from that three quarter inch line. There's a shut off valve up at the culvert cistern so I can control the flow of water coming into the garden bed. And this is like, this is the basic idea of the system is that everything is gravity fed and very simple. So on each of these half inch risers, we want to disperse the water to basically where the clay pots are gonna be buried in the garden bed. Now for the size of this garden bed, I estimate, I probably want about 12 pots. Um, the spacing of the pots can range anywhere from 24 to 36 inches apart, uh, depending on the size of the pot. So I think for this garden bed, about 12 pots is, uh, is gonna be sufficient. And it also depends on what you're gonna be uh, growing as well. So some. Uh, some plants need more space, some plants don't need as much space. So to just quickly illustrate this, is that we're gonna thread the, the manifold on the riser here, and then, imagine if this was buried. I know it's not right now. Um, basically in the bottom of the pot here, I'm gonna take a number five rubber stopper, which is almost always gonna be the proper size for an eight inch terracotta, uh, terracotta pot. So we can just stick that in the bottom, and that plugs the bottom, so that when this fills up with water, it's not gonna go uh, directly into the ground um, through the bottom hole. And then we're gonna take one of these lids. So these are, or they're not the lids. It's the eight inch saucer that you normally put below the, uh, the pot like this, but it makes like a perfect lid. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to drill a hole in the top of this uh, saucer, and then we're gonna basically shove this shove the quarter inch tube down into the uh, into the pot. Now to make it so that it's tough to pull this out on the other end of this quarter inch tube, we're gonna stick just a, uh, a, a just a flag emitter like this. So we'll just stick that in there so that it basically locks the tube down into the pot here. So next thing that we're gonna do now is space out our pots. Um, I was only able to get eight yesterday because that's all they had. And um, I'll have to get the other four for this bed um, some, sometime soon to finish it off properly. But we'll get eight of them in and then I'll show you how we're hooking it up uh, to, the, uh, to the manifold.
All right guys, so we got the six port manifold right here. I'll show you how we're gonna fix this up. So we wanna stick the one end into the manifold, obviously. Slide that on. And then obviously we wanna leave enough distance or enough uh, tubing so that it can go in there. And um, even if it gets pulled out a bit, it's not gonna pull everything off too much. So I think that's pretty good right there. And then we wanna stick this through and then on the other end here we're just going to be sticking our flag emitter so then the tube is just going to go into the pot like this here so as water is flowing into here it's going to be dispersed evenly through the six through the six ports and then it's going to fill up these pots so that's kind of the basis of how the system works and then um, the flag emitter is nice because say if you're to you know pull on this or whatever this quarter inch tube is not going to pop out of this hole so it's in there nice and tight. So I'm going to do the remaining five then I'm going to transfer some water into the culvert cistern there and then we're going to fill these bad boys up. Alright guys, so we've got the, uh, the culvert cistern filling up with water from the other poly tanks there. So it's primarily just going to get water from the shed roof. Um, I'm not exactly sure whether or not the shed roof is going to be big enough to supply enough water for, this, uh, for the garden bed here. Um, but if we ever run out of water in this tank here, it's just easy enough to transfer it uh, from the other big poly tanks that we have. So I would have to do some more calculations and it would depend on a number, number of different factors, ex especially like how much water does the, uh, do the plants use. So we'll just kind of figure that over time, but uh, I really like this setup because it's just so simple. It's just like gutter, I've already got the piece that's gonna go from here and then over into the, uh, into the culvert cistern and then just gravity fed into the, uh, into the basin there. Even with that filling up there, we're gonna turn on the uh, shutoff valve here. So we'll get some water flowing into the manifold. So, you're gonna have that water just dripping in there, just like that. Super simple. All right guys, that is the basis of the buried clay pot irrigation system. Um, you don't need to hook up, um, no, I wouldn't really even call it that fancy, but you don't necessarily have to hook up these hoses and stuff. You can just fill the clay pots up just with like a hose or whatever. Um, it doesn't have to be hooked up like this. This just makes it a lot easier. So what I would do probably once a week is just turn on that shutoff valve, leave it on for at least an hour or so until the clay pots are completely filled up, turn it off, and then go back in another week or so, basically check the level of water in the, uh, in the clay pots and just kind of moderate it like that or monitor it like that. But just something as simple as a clay pot like this could reduce the amount of water that you're gonna be using by up to 90% is, uh, that's pretty amazing. So we're definitely gonna see how well it works. It's definitely going to work. And what we do from here is we just uh, plant our seeds within a few inches of the clay pot and then if we had some starters, same idea, you just want to plant them um, kind of somewhat close, typically within that far of the base of the clay pot. And then the roots are basically going to start, they're, they're going to be saturated with water right from the get-go and it's going to draw up as much water as it needs. So I think that this is going to work out really well and we're going to have a really successful garden down here. Awesome guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace.